So it's been a little while since we've done any additional work on the Space Rocks game, and you know, it's been other things that I've had to be working on instead, but I'm ready to get back in here and add some more features. So in this video, we're just gonna go over a couple of small changes that I've made ahead of time to prepare for the next features that we're gonna add to the game. So first, a couple of small changes uh, on the enemy. Uh, last time we made a little timer so the enemy could shoot uh, pulses and I've changed actually removed a little bit of code to streamline that a little bit and the other main thing I did was in the player bullet and the enemy bullet there was a lot of common code so I made this script called bullet.gd which has in it the basic where to start and how to move and then player bullet just extends that script and adds its its own uh, uh, unique things and the enemy bullet does the same it extends the bullet script so that'll make it a little more flexible down the road and I'm probably going to do that with a couple other things too as we get further into the project now the next major change is I'm going to start implementing some upgrades for the player so I have a dictionary here called the upgrade level and I decided on five things that the player will be able to up upgrade the thrust power of his ship so it can accelerate faster the fire rate that's how quickly the bullets are fired the rotation speed of the ship the shield regeneration speed and the guns are gonna have some sort of upgrade I haven't quite decided exactly what I want to do for that yet and then these are the settings for the various levels. So when you're on level one, right, so if your shield regen is one, then it's going to be five. If your shield regen is level two, it'll go up and up and up. Okay. And so each of these, I've just, I've just thrown some numbers in here. We'll have to do some testing and decide, you know, exactly how we want these to progress, but I just wanted to be somewhere so we can see a range of them. And now over on the player script, what we need to do is set our rotation speed and our thrust based on those values. So the rotation level is going to be whatever our upgrade level is and whatever the rotation level is for that. And the same thing with the thrust. We use the fire rate here. We're gonna set the wait time on the gun timer to that and then in the shield level we're going to use here when we add back to the shield we're going to use whatever level that is at so if we try this out everything's going to be at level one and you can see the shield is regenerating quite slowly the ship rotates slowly and it you know isn't firing very quickly either okay and then if we, for example, were to start, let's go over here and change these to level four so we can see what would happen if we're on level four. So I don't want to just run the player. If we're on level four, then, right, I can, I'm much higher acceleration. Uh, if I hit something, the shield regeneration is much, much faster. All right, so this is what you get, would get to if you were able to achieve all the upgrades. And so how is the player going to be able to purchase these upgrades? Uh, we're setting back to level one. There's going to be some sort of... Uh, there's going to be some sort of money that they can accumulate during the level. Um, I think I'm going to have the asteroids when you blow them up will drop some resources and you can pick those up and the more of them you get then you know you can spend those on the upgrades so in the next video we're going to start building that ui we're going to need a a purchase screen so that you can spend your money on the various upgrades see what level they're each at and um, decide what you want to upgrade all right thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video